Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho, back with another video. Today I want to talk about an audiophile CD player slash DAC. This is the SMSL SP200. Now the other thing I want to talk about is, is CD quality better than streaming? So an interesting scenario is using this DAC. So this thing can actually play CDs and then it can also be kind of plugged into your PC or your phone and using USB audio to pass it through. So I can test both the scenarios with the same DAC because it actually also has an amplifier built inside. So there's actually a headphone jack on the back. So I can actually plug in my headphones on the back of this and listen to it. So the testing is basically consistent. You're using the same DAC with the same amplifier, just using the CD section versus the streaming section to kind of figure out which one is better. But that also kind of rounds out this device. It is pretty versatile. It's not just the CD player, right? You can just use it as a normal DAC. You can combine this to not only speaker amplifier, or you can just listen to your headphones to it. So it really is a pretty versatile device, as well as this is a fully balanced DAC. Really, this is a feature pack all-in-one device that is quite honestly versatile, and you could use it for a lot of things. And I think that's what makes this thing kind of stand out. But the question is, is CD quality better than streaming? And my answer is in all honestly, no. Now when I say streaming, I mean Apple Music, which you have access to lossless music. CD quality is actually only up to about 16 bit, up to 48 kilohertz. So really when you go to lossless on streaming, you can hit up to 24 bit at 96 kilohertz. And like, yeah, those are just the specs, but you actually get lossless closer to the kind of studio recording on streaming versus CD is actually a compressed quality. Now that's like the technical thing. When you actually listen to it, my first listen, I already could tell there was a difference in quality. And so I, you know, to test this, I use the Diana MR. This is kind of my, you know, this is like a $3,000 planar headphone. It's one of the most detailed headphones I've ever heard. Kind of hearing the differences is pretty apparent, honestly. And the first thing I noticed when I plugged it in is the bass just did not sound the same. So the CD I was listening to was actually the Taylor Swift one, Midnight's. I kind of used this album because it's a very new, I think this album was released like last year or the year before. And so it was really like new. And then on streaming, obviously the data is new as well. So I'm using like the latest type of recordings, not some old stuff. So you could already tell on the first track. So the first track I use Lavender Haze on it and listen to it on the CD and then listen to it on the streaming. And you could just tell the bass didn't hit as hard. It didn't go as low. So one of the things a lot of compression does is it actually kind of takes away kind of lowest lows and then the highest highs and kind of compresses the music to kind of save on the data. And you could definitely hear that the bass definitely does not hit as hard. It's something I always notice about, you know, Apple Music and Lossless has just higher quality. You can definitely hear the low end a lot better. It's a lot more dynamic. Now the high end as the treble it also didn't kind of go as high. It felt like the ceiling was kind of hit a lot faster. So the treble didn't really extend as high. Now, the other thing that was just really apparent too, is that like the mid range, like a lot of the vocals, they didn't sound as like dense. They sounded almost hollow. It's like, honestly, the best way to describe it is like watching movies on like a 4K OLED versus watching movies on like a kind of old school, like TN panel at 1080p. That's really what it felt like when I was listening to it. Like the, the kind of resolution of the music was just like, it was like missing details. It was less defined. It was less like vibrant, less colorful. That's like the best way to describe it because it really did not sound anywhere as close as the streaming. It was pretty apparent. And then the other thing I noticed is like, when you look at like where all the elements are like in a 3D space, what people call like the imaging and the sound state, it actually sounded worse, which I was surprised to hear. It felt a lot more congested on the CD com in comparison to the streaming. So really the CD quality is decent, but like, honestly, you can instantly tell the difference. So when it comes to like audio and like, you know, being an audio file and getting the best experience possible, an autofile CD player is cool in the sense of that, like, you know, if you have a lot of CDs and you want to play, this is the best you can get out of your CDs. However, you know, if you're trying to get the best out of your music, you should probably just stream losses, the higher format, 
higher bit rate type of music and you'll get the best performance, if that makes any sense. So really the criticism isn't about, you know, how the CD player plays on this device. It's just that the CD quality is not up to snuff of the modern day streaming, really. And that's just the point I want to get across. But this actual device, honestly, is really good because this actually has the latest flagship from AKM. So I think it's called the AK44. 99 ex so it's really their flagship DAC. i've actually been wanting to listen to it and i can tell you from the listening to it on this amplifier it sounds really 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 good and it's actually a pretty amazing experience so you know i actually prefer using this DAC amp with the internal amplifier than my actual iFi iCam pro that's just like it's like a you know external amplifier and the reason why is i think that they tune the DAC and the amplifier to be really in sync with each other. When I listen to my on my own amplifier, it sounds just a little too warm for me. Everything kind of, you know, the treble doesn't come out across as, you know, forward as well. It seems a little bit like laid back. But when I listen to the Diane MR straight from the back of this, it sounds like very, just like the definition neutral. Like you can hear all the tones, really lovely, very good, but it doesn't like overly enhance. It's like really tuned very perfectly well. So I think, this device as like an all-in-one is actually quite amazing. Now I actually tested this in you know some different other scenarios so like I just use this straight up as like a DAC right and see how good this is compared to my SMSL SU9 which is also from the same company it's actually my main DAC that I've been using for the past like two or three years and in comparison to like a dedicated DAC that costs like $500 a little cheaper it actually sounds better in USB mode only. And you know, the reason why is probably because that is really just a USB or digital DAC. And this has a lot more feature. It has an amplifier built in, it has a CD player. So it's doing a lot more than just one task. And so I think the sound quality is just a little bit behind. I found this at least compared to my SMSL, which uses a Sabre DAC, which is the ES9038. That one really sounds wider. The bass sounds like it hits lower and there's a little bit, I think, I guess it really does have a little bit more of like a brighter tilt leaning. So it sounds a little bit more detail on top when I pair it with the iFi I can. So really I do slightly prefer that over this, but I can tell you that, you know, SMSL, if they just made this without, you know, the amplifier, without the CD player, I'm sure this would sound just as good as the um, SU9, honestly. But this for like, you know, maybe $100 more, it does come with a lot more features and it's a lot more versatile device. So I think a lot of people will like the fact that you can, you know, plug your headphones directly. You don't need to buy another amplifier, just use this. I think that will save a lot of people a lot of money and you have the flexibility of using a CD, which is also really cool. So anyways, let's dive into kind of the features of this so you guys can see how it works. Also, this DAC was sent out by APOS Audio. So APOS has, you know, two year warranty. I think that's what kind of makes them stand out. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any like this one, I'll leave links down below. If you guys buy with those links, it does help support my channel. But yes, thank you for APOS for sending this out for review. All right, so taking a closer look at this device. So obviously this has the built in kind of CD player. So this actually has a mechanical blue switches so those remind me of like those razor switches basically that make those clicky noises so they have that nice tactile clicky type of sound which is kind of cool because they basically said it's the same as the keyboard type of switches then beyond that we obviously have the loading tray right here so i have my cd in there right now i have the kind of taylor swift midnight's edition it comes with this magnetic kind of top as well so you can actually like put this and it will like magnetize to keep the CD in place. And then you just put this on top. So it's a very like elegant design, really. I would say the one thing is that, you know, I guess you have to like pick this whole thing up and like pull it off to get the CD off and out. But honestly, overall, I think it's a very elegant, nice design because this whole thing made is made of like, I feel like it's like aluminum. So it's metal. It's very sturdy, very nice and very premium. So that's always nice to see. Now, the actual interface of this device is pretty much like it always is on FS SMSL, which is really good. So what I mean by that is really you just click on this middle section and it goes into kind of all your settings and you click again to go into settings and you can choose your different inputs, outputs. You hold it to go backwards and you click to go in. 
You can change your inputs, outputs, filters, you know, DSD filter, your gain, your sound color. You can do pre-mode, so you can use this as like a pre-amplifier or not. There's a lot, definitely a lot of different things you can do in this. So really, I love the control scheme on this. It's always the easiest thing to use. It's exactly like the deck I always use. So honestly, the control scheme on this is really nice. And I would say the screen quality of this is actually a little bit better than the older stuff. It seems a little bit brighter. So on the back, you kind of have all the usual suspects, but the headphone jack is the one right here, which is really nice. So it's a quarter inch, which it comes with an adapter that you can adapt to 3.5 millimeter. We have the balance outputs, the RCAs, we have optical USB, and then just the power supply. A pretty simple back layout. Also, this volume dial in front is really nice, honestly. It has this like tactile feel to it. You can feel the individual steps, but you can also move it very quick. It's a pretty cool and nice dial, honestly. And I think the combination, you can kind of see these little cutouts right here that kind of like these little U shape right there that just give it additional kind of aesthetics to it. And I like how the feet on this actually have four feet. My DAC, which is a little older, I only had three feet and that was always kind of annoying. But yeah, so in conclusion, this is a really cool device. I like the, you know, nice tactile buttons, the CD player experience, obviously, you know, CD quality is not gonna be as good as streaming lossless or just listening to digital lossless. However, if you have a whole entire library of CDs, you can definitely run it through this because this does have a flagship DAC and it, I can confirm that it definitely competes with the big boys. It is very, very good sound quality that you get out of this. And you get an included headphone amplifier on the back, so you save a lot of money if you're just looking for an all-in-one device that's nice and compact that does a lot of things. So I am happy to recommend SMSL. Now, obviously there's other DACs. If you don't really need the CD player experience and you don't really need the internal amplifier, they do sell like the SU9, um, Ultra, I guess, or they also have the Pro, which is kind of the new modern ones. Those ones will, you know, be better and they'll save you a little bit of money if you're just looking for only that. But for all other things, then this one would be my recommended choice. Anyways, I hope this video helped you guys. Please like and subscribe down below. Helps my videos out and I'll see you guys in the next video.